Welcome everybody. Uh, in this film, we've got two students from our current programs, the MSc in Medical Anthropology and the MSc in Biosocial Medical Anthropology, talking about their experiences of being on this pro these programs of study. I'm going to introduce you first of all to Christina Philpott and also Theo Michaels, uh, and also pose some questions to them both, um, which they're going to answer. So the first question uh, to Christina is, and, and to Theo also, is to, to tell us a little bit about your reasons for choosing the particular program of study. Um, the Biosocial Medical Anthropology and also the MSc in Medical Anthropology. Um, so I have a background in product design. I did my undergraduate in product design and I've been working in design consultancy for about six years, um, doing a lot of work in healthcare solutions. So designing things like asthma inhalers and apps for diabetics to manage their conditions all the way up to things like instructions for use. Um, I increasingly found myself brushing the edges of the kind of deeper humanity behind disease and healthcare and how diseases are patterned, how people understand their own bodies and how they understand medical intervention. Um, and basically found myself evolving into an anthropologist um, through kind of an industrial approach. Um, so I went looking for an anthropology postgraduate course um, and I found the biosocial medical anthropology program ticked all of my boxes essentially by by name and definition it it embraces the fact that a person's biological body and the social context in which they live is is inherently intertwined and they affect each other mutually for advantageous and disadvantageous um effects i think the course has been hugely beneficial in basically enabling us to look at healthcare from a number of different angles. There's a very strong emphasis on mixed methods um, analysis. So you, you see the numbers and you see the real kind of ethnographic insights from people. And it really helps you to understand how people are understanding medicine and healthcare and increasingly how we can actually design solutions and interventions that will be more effective for people. Um, and that's all the way up from these kind of small niche populations of people all the way to how we address bigger global healthcare challenges like diabetes and heart disease um, from a much more kind of human centered approach. Thanks, Christina. Uh, Theo? Hello. Um, so I chose the MSc in medical anthropology in part for two of the professors here, um, Joe and uh, David Napier. Um, so David's work on the immune system and alterity uh, greatly influenced my undergraduate senior thesis, and uh, now he's my dissertation advisor. Uh, Joe is a clinician anthropologist whose work on the Navajo Nation I, I really admire, and um, as I hope to follow a similar path as him, um, I'm applying to MD-PhD's PhD programs right now. Um, I wanted to learn from Joe, and, and I got to, um, taking his... Uh, his uh, a psychological anthropology module and having him as a personal tutor the first semester. Um, I think the general and uh, justified draw of clinicians in particular and so many others in general to medical anthropology is uh, the recognition that the body, health and illness can't exist independent of context, um, culture and, and society if I'm to speak in such sweeping terms. Um, for health disparities uh, in particular, what many critical medical anthropologists here uh, study and teach. Um, context is fundamental. Uh, why some people get sick and die before others is often not so much because of rare genetic disorders and uh, well, the particulars as material deprivation and social suffering, uh, or as uh, some anthropologists might call it, structural vulnerability or structural violence. Uh, if you want to learn about these issues, uh, UCL's MSc in medical anthropology is the perfect place. Thank you, Theo. Um, okay, just moving on to the second question that you may have said something about already, but uh, what have been your, your experience of being at UCL and on the programme? Uh, back, back to Christina. So UCL has been a fantastic place to study. Um, as, a, as a campus, it's aesthetically beautiful, really nice place to be. Um, but you also get this feeling that you're in this kind of hive atmosphere of some of the greatest minds in the world. There's a lot of outstanding research and investigation that's at the forefront of our understanding of the world happening in the rooms next year and it, it's a brilliant place to study um, it's been really effective during the pandemic as well they've uh, been really kind of embracing the hybrid working environment so as much as possible we like to be in person but if you can't attend for whatever reason there are digital ways to attend now which is great um, 
Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Theo. Um, I remember very well the moment I knew UCL was uh, a great fit for me. Um, so we have we have weekly medical and bio uh, biosocial medical anthropology seminars where faculty from the department or uh, other universities will come in, talk about their research, and often stay after for food and drink. Um, the first week this happened last autumn, there was uh, such a lovely presentation um, about super users or super super utilizers. Um, not only did it seed a new interest of mine, leading me to read a series of articles on the issue, that night after the presentation and, and after most people cleared out, uh, I got to sit down with a couple faculty members and another student to talk about anthropology and really only anthropology for hours. Uh, we talked about each other's research interests, uh, what we had been reading recently, and our takes on major works in the field. Um, what impressed me was both the availability of faculty to engage with me as, as a student in such an extended way, um, as well as the breadth of knowledge or kind of this plasticity of anthropological thinking that allowed a conversation to carry on as such. Um, subsequently, uh, subsequent weekly seminars, modules, and conversations with faculty members um, only demonstrated um, that these qualities are, are fundamental to the department. Thanks very much, Theo, and thanks, Christina. Yeah.